nasopalatine injection. The nasopalatine injection anesthetizes the palatal soft and osseous tissues of the anterior third of the palate and the lingual gingiva of the anterior teeth from canine to canine. Remember that both nerves travel together and exit onto the hard palate together, one supplying each side of the face. This nerve does not innervate any pulpal tissue. This injection has a bad reputation, but can be made more comfortable. The use of pressure by applying a cotton tip applicator directly or other blunt instrument directly to the incisive papilla is used by many to anesthetize area prior to needle insertion. The landmark for this injection is the incisive papilla immediately posterior to the maxillary centrals. Place topical and pressure over the incisive papilla with a cotton tipped applicator or other pressure device for a minimum of one minute prior to the injection. A 27 short or 30 gauge short or extra short needle is used for this injection. The bevel is turned up toward the palatal bone. Follow all steps and procedures presented in the video clip entitled Basic Steps in the Administration of Local Anesthesia. Ask the patient to tip his or her head up and slightly away with the mouth wide open. The insertion site is at the lateral border of the incisive papilla, midway of the widest anterior posterior portion of the incisive papilla. Remember that pressure should be applied prior to inserting the needle. Pathway of insertion. The syringe comes from the corner of the mouth from the canine premolar area. Approach the base of the papilla from a 45 degree angle or as close to parallel as possible to the horizontal plane of the palate. Do not go directly through the papilla. The needle should advance under the incisive papilla through dense mucosal tissues to contact the opposite wall of the incisive canal near its entrance. The depth of insertion is approximately four to seven millimeters. Cover the bevel of the needle. The needle should remain in the middle of the foramen. Aspirate at the deposition site and drop a few drops of anesthetic prior to removing the cotton tip applicator. Deposit approximately a fourth of a carpule. To avoid discomfort, the rate of deposition should be reduced. The dense tissues of the palate resist deposition and do not accommodate solution easily. In addition to increasing comfort, slow deposition will avoid unnecessary tissue trauma. The tissue should be blanched. Gently remove the needle and make the needle safe. Complications associated with this injection can include pain, or necrosis of soft tissue from vasoconstrictor is possible. Another method that can be used to decrease discomfort has two preliminary steps. With this technique, the first step is to infiltrate into the labial mucosa between the centrals under the frenum. Step two is to infiltrate through the inner dental papilla between the centrals. These steps are followed by the penetration under the incisive papilla as previously described.